Welcome to another Fantasy Goodfellows video where we talk about the top 30 running back rankings for week four. You ready? The Fantasy Goodfellows. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. Oh, on the field. Goodfellows. All right, before we get started, let me tell you how these rankings work. I input the top rankings from the experts online about fantasy football, and then I present them to you and talk about each of the players and what I think, but also by providing stats in a stat machine that I created. And this is what I do when I do my fantasy football research. I hope this video helps you. I find it to be helpful. It gets me engaged with what's going on. And uh, let's just get into it. All right, at number one, you have Saquon, Saquon Barkley at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, what can I say about Saquon? He's going to be your starter, uh, and he's performing. Thank goodness you drafted him in, in the first round. What did he do in week three? 147 rushing yards, two rushing TDs. And uh, if you just look at what he did week to week so far, he is, let's pull this up right here. I have a little delay. Uh, let's go to the next one. Brees Hall versus the Denver Broncos. Now, Brees Hall has been a little bit of an underperformer. It's just that he could do so much. And uh, what did he do? He was the 14th ranked running back in week three. He did that with 54 rushing yards, one rushing TD, and 29 catches. If you look what he's done on the season so far, um, he's it's been in the top. 18 top 16 in each of the first three weeks i expect him to be around 10th coming up the next week at number three you got Bijan robinson versus the new orleans saints now the new orleans saints have a pretty good defense so we'll see what happens here but 1.9 yards per carry is a little low where you got uh, over 10 yards per catch in the receiving but uh, again Bijan robinson was a top draft pick, so you expect better things from him, even though he was ranked 17. At number four, you got Jordan Mason versus the New England Patriots. Now, this is where I like to look at a, a running back to see how he's doing. 4.1 yards a carry, not too bad. 77 rushing yards, 11 catches. In week two, he did 100 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown. And compared with week one, 147 rushing yards one Russian TD. So he was ranked three in week one, ranked eighth in week two, and he was ranked 23 in week three. Does that mean he's going to be lower? I expect him to be the mid, uh, the mid Desis. All right. At number five, you got Alvin Kamara at the Atlanta Falcons. This is going to be an interesting game. These are some dome teams. We we'll like to see what they're going to do, but Alvin Kamara cannot have one of those stellar performances he had in week two every week. And this is where he kind of, I expect him to be more around mid, mid thirties, right? Rank 15th. This is where I expect him to be each week. But if you want to just look at what he's doing on the season so far, this is where you have, he was six, one, 15, but that's the way it goes. At number six, Derrick Henry versus the Buffalo Bills. If you pick Derrick Henry, you're going to keep starting him. I don't even have to go into what he's doing there. Uh, number seventh, and, uh, number seventh, Jonathan Taylor versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is one where I kind of want to look at. Okay, he had a great week three, but 110 rushing yards, two rushing TDs. This, this is you got to look at what the team's doing overall, and then that's sometimes okay. Jonathan Taylor, 23 rushing yards, but it means they're getting no production from the the quarterback the receivers aren't doing too well and now you got josh downs finally in the mix but there's a problem there anthony richardson cannot keep performing like this something's got to give and if you're fantasy owners with any of these receivers you're hoping anthony richardson picks it picks it up at number eight you have kyreen williams at the chicago bears uh again he had a great, great week, week three. He was a high draft pick. Um, you're going to keep rocking him no matter what. 
I'm going to go through a couple of these. James Cook. Here's James Cook at the Baltimore Ravens. Again, I'm starting to think that there's too many weapons and too much distribution up there in Buffalo, especially with Josh Allen playing really well. Uh, number 10, you got Jameer Gibbs at the versus the Seattle Seahawks. This is where I want to zero in a little bit. That was a great week. Uh, three, 83 rushing yards, 20 receiving yards, one TD. David Montgomery also made it in. So if you have any of those running backs and start them, you did well. At uh, number 11, Devon A-Chain, A-Chain uh, versus the Tennessee Titans. Uh, you expected him to have a better week, especially with the quarterback situation. I guess they didn't go to him as much, but it seems like they were kind of figuring out what they're going to do now that two is out. And it didn't bode well for him. If you uh, number twelve, you got Josh Jacobs versus the Minnesota Vikings. Here you go. I don't watch any of these games. And Josh Jacobs, again, I think you know some of these some of these running backs are going to come in and out of the rankings. Here, Josh Jacobs is out of the rankings. But um, if you want to look at who they're playing next week, they're playing the Minnesota Vikings. I think that's going to be a good game. And uh, I, 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 I like to see this one play out. That's a good matchup. At number 13, you got James Conner versus the Washington Commanders. Here's James Conner in, in uh, week three. He was the 53rd ranked running back. And now they are putting them so high. And that's the part I don't get. He hasn't really done too much. And now you got him up here at 13. That's where I don't believe in all the rankings. At number 14, Aaron Jones at the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Jones got into the end zone. He had 102 rushing yards, 46 receiving yards. If you want to see what he's doing on the on the week, week two sucked. Uh, at number, um, got, got into the end zone first and third weeks, and this is his point. So uh, the way it's going, maybe next week's not too good. At number 15, you got David Montgomery. Now, again, this is where I just don't understand where you put two running backs in the top 15. Uh, Just don't see it happening. And if you want to go to the rankings, let's see if I can do this real quick. The rankings, they had David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. Uh, They both were in the top 10 last week, mainly because of those touchdowns. But um, I hate putting and putting two running backs that high. At number 16, Chubba Hubbard versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Chubba Hubbard, what a great week he had. Is Carolina back? That is going to be interesting to watch. But with production like this, if you got him, you got to start him. You got to rock with him. At number 17, you got Brian Robinson Jr. at the Arizona Cardinals. What did Brian Robinson did? Well, he did 33 rushing yards, four uh, receiving yards. So let's just look what's going on. I think what's going to happen is Jaden Daniels is going to settle that offense down, but they're going to pass it more. So I think you're looking at about the low to 20s for the ranking for Brian Robinson. So that means it's a little bit high. Uh, number 18, Travis Etienne at the Houston Texans. Travis not having a good year, got some yardage, but that always doesn't lead to points unless you're doing and um, you're struggling if you drafted anybody with those Jacksonville Jaguars. At number 19, Zach Carbonet at the Detroit Lions. I think he's going to be a stud. I see him moving up on the rankings here. He did 91 rushing yards, two TDs. If you can get a running game with Geno Smith, and those receivers, you're going to do really well. So I like what they got going on there. Zach Carbonet should do higher than 19. At number 20, you have De- Devin Singletary versus the Dallas Cowboys. This is where I thought in another video I said that I thought the Dallas defense was way better. Here is 65 rushing yards for Singletary, 43 receiving yards, got into the end zone. I expect him to have a very similar game in week three. At number 21, J- J.K. Dobbins versus the Kansas City. Now, here you expected him to do really well because the week before, he had 131 rushing yards, one rushing TD, 7.7 yards per carry. 
what did he do in week three? Well, he stunk it up. 44, 44 rushing yards. That didn't go well. At number 22, you got Zach Moss at the Carolina Panthers. Zach Moss uh, got balanced. But, again, when you see a performance like this, this is where I always just got to see how are you doing on the season. So the first thing I'm always going to check out is what's the rankings look like. Okay, he was in the top 20 two of the three weeks that, that we've had so far. And if you look at um, if you look at it here again for his uh, bar chart here, seems to not be getting the, the yardage, got the TDs. So I think it's a little high for Zach Moss. At number 23, Jerome Ford at the Las Vegas Raiders. What did Jerome Ford do? Well, he had about 70 yards. It just doesn't cut it, though. There's some people that are starting him. If you got to start in running back, you, 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 you need more production on that. At number 24, you got Tony Pollard at the Miami Dolphins. Tony Pollard had a great season last year. And, again, I'm not following this year because I didn't draft him. So I always have to kind of look at this ranking to see where he's ranked. So um, he's in the top 25. I think he'll bounce back. He'll be closer to 24 in week four. At number 25, you got Ramon, Ramondra Stevenson at the San Francisco 49ers. I really like uh, Stevenson. It just didn't happen in week three, but I know in week two, he got into the end zone in week one. He had a pretty good week. So I expect him to bounce back. He's a good running back. I expect him to have a better week four. At number 26, Najee Harris at the Indianapolis Colts. That it seems to be settling down up there with uh, Justin Fields as the quarterback. Uh, I guess our good buddy, he's no longer going to be the quarterback. I think they're going to go with Justin Fields even if Wilson comes back. Uh, I think Justin Fields is probably more liked than um, the other guy. But um, it, it's a decent. I, I just think if you got Pittsburgh players, you got you got to roll with them. I expect Najee Harris to be a little higher. At 27, Rashad White versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, I really like him. I just don't think uh, – you know, that offense is so high-powered. I know the first two weeks you had Baker Mayfield do really well. I think Rashad, if they go and get a running game, I think this offense will open back up. It's, it just this depends on uh, rushing, and you got to keep them off guard. But this reminds me of like a Trent Dilford type player. Just don't make any mistakes. At uh, number 28, Carson Steele at the Los Angeles Chargers. You know, everybody, as soon as they found out Pacheco got injured, everybody rushed to get those Kansas City running backs. And how'd they do? Well, if you're in a 14-team league and you got two running backs, he's in the top 28, you can have a flex. So he made it. Uh, that's all I look at here is he made it in. If you started Perrine, he did not make it in. Uh, number 29, Cam Akers versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think this is the week that you're really going to see this Houston offense take off. I don't think he's going to get it. I think he's going to have a better rushing game, and I think he's going to get a rushing touchdown and his yardage. They won't use him in the offense. But uh, I really like Houston. Uh, number 30, you get DeAndre Swift versus the Los Angeles Rams. This is where, again, that waiver wire – but I just think Swift is always that type player that you expect him to be really good. He's got every skill set you need. He can catch the ball. He can run it. He's got some speed, got some strength. But it just doesn't turn into very steady performances. No touchdowns this season. Uh, pretty low fantasy points. And uh, that's just the way it goes. But that is, that is the top 30 running backs for week four. Again, these are not my stats. I'm just commenting and trying to look at what I noticed there. I'm going to be making the stat machine a little bit better. I'm going to add a little bit more features, a little bit more graphs. But uh, like we always say, thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome week. Good luck, and I'll see you next week.